Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, we're going to be doing the New York, Maine, Morningside, Caps, Page, and Alley Infrastructure Design Meeting. Gracias por estar con nosotros hoy. Estamos discutiendo la, el, la Junta de Diseño de Infraestructura de New York, Maine, Morningside, Caps, Page, y Callejones. Por favor, describir sus preguntas en la sección de comentarios. Al terminar la presentación, se contestarán esas preguntas primero. Luego se responderán las preguntas de quienes llamaron por teléfono una a la vez. La presentación está siendo grabada. All right, so during today's agenda, we're going to be covering introductions, uh, project overview, the project area being affected, and frequently asked questions. Durante la agenda de hoy, vamos a cubrir las presentaciones, descripción del proyecto, área del proyecto, y preguntas frecuentes. Your design project team includes myself, Brenda Oropesa. I am the project manager. My phone number is 817-392-8271. And my email is brenda.oropesa at forthworthtexas.gov. Our engineering design consultant is Moss Civil Engineers, um, consisting of Angel Sanchez and Omar Cereceres that are working on this project. El equipo de, de diseño del proyecto incluye a la gerente del proyecto que soy yo, Brenda Oropesa. Mi número de teléfono es 817-392-8271. Mi correo electrónico es brenda.oropesa.fortworthtexas.gov. El consultor de ingeniería de diseño es Matt Silver Engineers, consistiendo de Ángel Sánchez y Omar Cereceres. So project overview. This project is in council districts eight and nine. We will be rehabilitating both water and mains on both sides of I-35. This construction will impact the Morningside United Community South Hempel Heights Ryan Place Improvements and Fairmount Neighborhood Association. The project area is bound by East Arlington Avenue to the north, New York Avenue to the east, West Canty Street to the south and College Avenue to the west. Una descripción general del proyecto. El proyecto cubre partes de los distritos municipales 8 y 9. Se rehabilitarán las actuales tuberías de agua y drenaje sanitario en ambos lados del Interestatal 35 Oeste. La construcción afectará los vecindarios Morningside, United Communities, South Hempel Heights, Bryan Place Improvements y Fairmont. El proyecto colinda con East Arlington Ave Avenue en el lado norte, New York Avenue del lado oeste, West Canty Street hacia el sur y College Avenue en el lado oeste. Here we have an overview map on, of one of the project areas being affected. We have the alley between East Arlington Avenue and Davis Avenue from X to I-35. We're going to be doing the sanitary sewer replacement. The alley between East Jessamine and Atlanta Street from Epps to I-35, that's sanitary sewer replacement. The alley between East Morningside Drive and Ramsey Street from 50 feet east of Stewart Drive to 43 feet west of Jones Street. That's this area right here. We're going to be replacing the sanitary sewer there. Um, the the I-35 service road from 130 feet north of East Mulkey Street to 147 feet north of East Jessamine Street. We're going to be doing water and sanitary sewer replacement in this area. Este es un mapa enseñando una de las áreas que vamos a estar um, trabajando en. Aquí tenemos el callejón entre East Arlington Avenue y Davis Avenue, the Epps Avenue al 35, el callejón entre East Jessamine Street y Atlanta Street, desde Epps Avenue al 35, y estos dos son, uh, vamos a estar reemplazando las líneas de drenaje, el callejón entre East Morningside Drive y Ramsey Avenue desde 57 pies al este de Stewart Drive hasta 43 pies al oeste de Jones Street, 
aquí está, va a ser también reemplazo de pipa de, de, de drenaje. Y la vía de acceso del 35, 130 pies al norte de East Smoky Street hasta East Jessamine Street. Vamos a reemplazar el agua y pipa de, de drenaje. Um, this is just a continuation of the areas being affected on this map. We have the alley between Marion Avenue and Ramsey Avenue from I, the I-35 service road to 82 feet west of Evans Avenue. The alley between Marion and East Mulkey Street from 48 feet east of Evans Avenue to 480 feet west of New York Avenue. That's the sanitary sewer re replacement. Um, then we have New York Avenue from 150 feet south of Marion Street to 123 feet north of East Roberts Avenue. And that's sanitary sewer. Este mapa es una continuación de las áreas que vamos a estar afectando. Tenemos el callejón entre Marion Avenue y Ramsey Avenue desde el la vía de servicio del 35 hasta el oeste de Evans y vamos a estar reemplazando la pipa de drenaje. El callejón entre Marion Avenue y Mulkey Street. Esta área de aquí y de New York Avenue. Desde 150 pies al sur de Marion Avenue. A 123 pies al norte de East Robert Street. Y es, um, vamos a estar reemplazando la pipa de drenaje ahí. So this is on the west of 35. This is the area being affected. Um, we have the alley between College Avenue and Austin Avenue from Lilac Street to Hawthorne Avenue, sanitary sewer replacement. The alley between Lipscomb Street and Hemphill Street from West Jessamine to 650 feet northeast of West Caps, this area right here, and we're gonna be doing a sanitary sewer replacement. Um, Page Avenue from 180 feet east of Limscombe to 354 west of South Jennings Avenue. That's the sanitary sewer replacement. Uh, West, West Cap Street from Hempfield to 312 feet west of South Jennings, and that's sanitary sewer replacement. En este mapa se está enseñando la área al oeste del 35. Tenemos el callejón entre College Avenue y Austin Avenue de Hawthorne Avenue a Lilac. Y vamos a reemplazar la pipa de, de drenaje aquí. El callejón entre Limscombe Street y Hemphill Street desde West Jessamine Street a 615 pies al noreste, noreste de West Cap Street, que sería esta área de aquí. Page Avenue de 108. 80 pies al este de Limscombe Street a 354 pies al oeste de South Jennings. Estaría de aquí. Y West Cap Street de Hemphill Street a 312 pies al oeste de South Jennings Avenue. All right. Here's the last slide of the areas we haven't covered yet on this map. We have the alley between Hemphill Street and South Jennings Avenue from 93 feet south of West Mulkey Street to West Cap Street. This is a sanitary sewer replacement. Alley between South Jennings Street and Main Street from West Cap Street to 154 feet north of West Canty Street. This area right here, it's sanitary sewer replacement. Um, West Morningside Drive from 161 feet east of South Jennings. Street to St. Louis Avenue, that's a sewer replacement, and we're also gonna be doing the water replacement from May Street to St. Louis Street, this area right there, and South Main Street from 152 South of West Ramsey Street to the traffic circle. Este mapa nomás estamos continuando en las áreas que vamos a estar afectando. Tenemos el callejón entre Hemphill Street y South Jennings Avenue, 93 pies al sur de West Mulkey Street a West Caps. Vamos a estar reemplazando la pipa de drenaje. 
el callejón entre South Channing y Main Street. Vamos a estar reemplazando el área de drenaje de West Caps a West Canty. West Morningside, 161 pies al este south de South Jennings Avenue a St. Louis Street. Vamos a estar reemplazando la pipa de drenaje y la pipa de agua de Main Street a St. Louis Street. Y South Main Street, South Main, 152 pies al sur de West Ramsey Avenue a la rotunda. So what streets will have construction in the streets? Um, west Morningside Drive from just west of Main Street to just west of St. Louis Street. Now it's... This area right here. I-35 service road between Mulkey Street and north, east, north of East Jessamine Street. This area right here. New York Avenue between Marion Avenue and East Robert Street. This area right here. South Main between West Morningside Drive and north of Page Street. This area right here. West Cap Street at Hemphill Street Crossing. That's this area right here. Page Avenue from just west of the BNSF Railroad to just west of Limscombe Street. This area right here. Um, we will have a traffic control plan, which will include lane closures when, before we go to construction. We will be holding a meeting prior to construction and we'll have that information available. ¿En qué área se realizarán las, las labores de construcción en las calles? Tenemos West Morningside justo al oeste de May, al oeste de St. Louis, que sería esta área aquí. La carretera lateral al 35 de Moki hasta el norte y East Jasmine, que sería esta área de aquí. New York entre Marion y East Roberts, esta área de aquí. South Main entre West Morningside y hasta el norte de Page, que sería esta área de aquí. En el crucero de West Caps y Hemphill, que sería esta área de aquí. Y Page del oeste del ferrocarril BSNF al oeste de Limscombe, que sería esta área de aquí. ¿Habrá un plan para el control del de tráfico cuando estemos más cerca a la construcción. Este incluirá las calles de carriles durante los labores de construcción. Los cierros de carriles. So will you need access to our property? Construction will be in the street and in alleys. Some construction will require that the city acquire easements. If an easement is needed, you should have been or will be notified if your property is one that requires access by our land agent, Deanna. Um, se necesitará entrar a nuestra propiedad. La construcción se realiza en la calle y los callejones. Para algunas actividades, el municipio, municipio deberá contar con un permiso para acceder las, los derechos reales de las propiedades. Si este es su caso, se le avisará con anticipación. Will our sewer service be disrupted? The sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs in the future. ¿Se interrumpirá el servicio de drenaje sanitario? No. El servicio de drenaje sanitario no se interrumpirá. Se instalarán nuevos registros del drenaje en la línea divisora de la propiedad. Los registros permiten acceder la tubería en caso de obstrucciones o bloqueos. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for about 15 to 30 minutes when services are being transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line. And whenever we 
transfer the service from the temporary water line back to the new water line. Se cortará el servicio de agua. El agua se cortará unos 15 a 30 minutos al transferirse el servicio de la actual tubería a la tubería temporal. Asimismo, al transferir el servicio de la tubería temporal a la tubería nueva. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take photos and video of the property before breaking ground or prior to beginning construction. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction starts. The contractor will restore the property to its original condition. ¿Qué pasa si mi propiedad resulta dañada? El contratista tomará fotografías y video de las propiedades antes de comenzar los labores de construcción. Animamos a los propietarios también tomar fotografías y video antes de que comiencen los labores de construcción. El contratista debe restaurar las propiedades a su estado original. Will the construction affect my irrigation? So the contractor will ask property owners to turn on their irrigation systems so the sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will replace capped or damaged irrigation systems. La construcción afectará mi sistema de riego. Antes de iniciar la construcción, se le pedirá encender el sistema de riego para ubicar y marcar las cabecillas de los rociadores. Para evitar riesgos, también se taponea la tubería de riego antes de comenzar la construcción. Es el contratista quien se encarga de reemplazar los sistemas de riego que resultan dañados. So, timeline. So, we are currently in the design phase. Um, we're still acquiring easements. We will be expecting to start construction around winter of this year. We will be hosting a second community meeting in um, early winter of 2021 to talk about the construction phase once we have a contractor on board and um, we've bid the project. Cronología de actividades. Nos encontramos en la fase de diseño. Esperamos comenzar las labores de construcción en el invierno del 2021. Haremos una segunda junta comunitaria a los fines o a los principios de, del invierno del 2021 para hablar sobre la fase de construcción. Where can I get more information? Progress, progress will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website um, on that link you see below, but you can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and put the project number, which is 102651 in the search bar on the homepage. And that'll link you to um, that website you see above. The link to this meeting video, the project maps, and the project summary and frequently asked questions will also be linked to this project page. ¿Dónde puedo obtener más información? El desarrollo del proyecto se actualizará en el sitio de web de Fort Worth en la página que ven allí. También puede visitar al www.fortworthtexas.gov y buscar con el número del proyecto que sería 102651. En esta página de internet encontrará el enlace del video de la junta, el mapa del proyecto, resumen del proyecto y, una, y un listado de las preguntas frecuentes. Um, here's the contact information for myself, as well as some other contacts that you may want to note down. Um, so my name is Brenda Oropesa. I am the project manager. My phone number is 817-392-8271. My email address is brenda.oropesa at fourthwordtexas.gov. Um, any appraisal or easement questions, you can contact our land agent assigned to this project, which is Diana Wright. Her number is 817-392-6349, and her email address is diana.wright at fourthwordtexas.gov. If you need to report any emergency breaks, um, water main breaks or backups, you can do so 24 hours a day at 817-392-4477 and select option one. Or our non-emergency call center is 
um, active from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday at 817-392-4477. And they are closed city holidays. Um, uh, para los contactos, aquí están más unos números que a lo mejor quiere apuntar. Mi nombre es Brenda Oropesa, soy la gerente del proyecto. Mi número es 817-392-8271. Mi correo electrónico es brenda.oropesa.fortworktexas.gov. Si tiene preguntas sobre los avalúos de propiedades, derechos reales, la gente que está designada a nuestro proyecto es la gente de terrenos es Diana Wright. Su número de teléfono es 817-392-6349. Y su correo electrónico es diana.wright.fortworthtexas.gov. Si necesita reportar una emergencia de agua o ruptura de tubería, uh, puede hacerlo 24 horas al día. En el número, el número es 817-392-6349. 4477, seleccione la opción 1 y el centro de llamadas que no sea de emergencias está abierto de 7 a 7, lunes a viernes y cerrado los días festivos. El número es 817-392-4477. Thank you. Gracias. I'll hand it over to Sally so she can um, go through the questions that have been asked. Thank you, Brenda. So far, we don't have anything in chat. We're going to get Brenda a breather here for just a second. Um, I, I believe we told you the meeting was recorded, and Brenda already said that the um, the video link to the meeting will be on the project page. We will also I'll also email that video link and the project summary, which will be in Spanish and English, to the board members of the neighborhood associations who are in this area. And if you don't know this already, this project is in Fort Worth Council District 8, which is represented by Councilmember Kelly Allen Gray and her district director, Mary Beth Ashley. It's also in Council District 9, which is represented by Councilmember Ann Zeta and her district director, Catherine Smith. Okay, we don't have any questions in chat. Do any of our call-in users have questions? I think I saw South Hempill Heights on the caller list. I'm there, but I don't have any questions. I think I can get all the information I need uh, off the website. Okay, great. Brian Rockwell, do you have any questions? Uh, no questions at this time. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Jason Manning, do you want to say hi? Nope, guess not. He's your uh, neighborhood patrol officer. Uh, we have Angel Sanchez on here, is who is one of our consultants. Um, Catherine Smith is on here. Catherine, do you want to say anything? She's a district director for uh, District 9. Just to say hello and thank you for the presentation. It was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anybody else have any questions at all? This is a design meeting, so like... Uh, like Brenda said, we will be coming back. Brenda, what was the date on that? Um, probably winter, winter time. Okay. Once we acquire all the um, necessary easements. Okay. Brenda, can you, um, for the call on users, will you give Deanna's? Did you did you spell out her address? You did, didn't you? Uh, no. So it's D E A N N A dot W R I G H T. At forwardtexas.gov? Yes. Okay. And in Spanish, it should be D E A N N A punto W R E. I forgot to see an H, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no questions at all, at all about this project? Y'all are being quiet. Oh, wait a minute. Thank you, Catherine. Catherine says, thank you for including Spanish. No problem. And Jason Manning says, same great presentation. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. 
Okay, if there's no questions, it should, we should have this all up on the project page by Monday or Tuesday of next week. And as I said, we'll email this presentation, the FAQs, the maps and stuff like that to the board members of the neighborhood associations. And then just look for us to come back, like Brenda said, in the winter of this year with the construction meeting, we'll have a contractor on board and we'll be able to give you a, a tentative layout of, of what street we'll start on first. Brenda, do you have any closing comments? No, yeah, during that construction meeting, we'll have more of like the lane closures and stuff as well. Okay, thank you everybody for being here. Thank you all for joining us today. Appreciate your time, thank you much. Thank you.